you're very welcome to the 2024 Munster Rugby Club's Boys Under 18 Cup Final between Brough RFC and Waterford Park RFC live from Virgin Media Park here in Cork. I am your commentator for the evening, Jer McCarthy, and we are expecting a cracking game between two very, very attack-minded sides. Uh, conditions, and this was the big worry coming into the final, of course, with Storm Kathleen. It is very, very windy, and the wind is going to be a factor blowing from the north to the south terrace, but it shouldn't already affect two, uh, as I said, attack-minded teams. Let's have a check, uh, first of all, on the two teams, and we start with the Bruff team. Jack Ahern uh, will be the loose head prop number one. Danny Kavanagh is two. Tyke Spencer is three. The second rows are Ryan Siebert and Jamie Walsh. And then Noah Brennan, Andrew Purcell and Michael Frawley complete the back row. The half-backs are Cahal Garvey at scrum half, Matthew Daly at fly half. On the left wing, Cormac McMahon. And the centres, Aidan Carroll and Daniel Buckley. On the right wing, Adam Kelleher and Fanon Leahy is in at full back. We'll go through the replacements a little later on. And now on to the water park team. And they will line out as follows. Front row of Ryan Stevens, Kenise Kinsella, uh, Oren Bulger. Second row, Luke Murphy and Dara O'Gradig. Back row of Dean McGovern, Bobby Doherty and Hugh Power. The scrum half is Ty Johnston. And a half back and fly half is Ben Wallace. On the left wing, Killian Sheridan. Centre is Fergal O'Brien and Harry O'Brien. On the right wing is Dylan Cody. And Zane Dooley Cullnan is the full back. So, as the two teams line up, it will be Bruff that will kick off, and they will have the benefit of the wind in the opening half. And that wind, as we said, is going to be a huge factor. The curtain raiser to this game, the under-16 final, was an absolute cracker between Ennis and Old Christians. 13-0 down at halftime. Ennis, with the wind at their backs in the second half, won 14-13. Our referee is Shane McLaughlin. And he's about to get things underway. And we are underway and deep, deep kickoff, deep into the water park half. They're just inside their 22, looking to retain possession and break out. Conditions, as we said, still very, very windy here this evening. And it is Brough who will have the benefit of that wind in the opening half. And a mistake and a quick and an opportunity for Brough. An advantage being played by the referee. Bruff right under the water park goal. Being asked to release, the ball is spread wide and through into a second phase. They're right on the water park line. Can Bruff get off to the best possible start? Advantage is over. They try to go wide and they're brought down again, just short of the line. They go wide and the ball is pushed wide and it's a try. What a start for Bruff. A try and a brilliantly put down there and you could not ask for a better start. For the Limerick side, inside the opening minute, they have touched down a fantastic effort from the kickoff, pushing Waterpark back onto their own try line, unable to clear their lines, and going through the phases. Brough keeping it steady, superbly working the ball through. And we're just going to wait and see who got that final touchdown. We think it's number five, and we think it's Jamie Walsh, the second row, who touched down. We'll double check that in a minute as we wait here now while Matthew Daly lines up the conversion just to the right on the 22 meter line. Very, very windy, the ball being held. Kick is good. And it's there, brilliantly converted by the fly half, Matthew Daly, the best possible start for the Limerick side. Bruff with an early lead, 7-0, and not two minutes gone on the clock. Fantastic start. The question is, how will Waterpark respond? They'll have to kick off here now, and as we said, conditions extremely windy, and Waterpark are facing into the teeth of a strengthening wind in this first half. Referee Shane McLaughlin just looking for a match ball to be rolled out, an opportunity now for Waterpark to reset. 
after that disappointing start, conceding a try inside the first minute. Superb start from Brough. That kickoff from Matthew Daly deep into his opposing 22. A mistake from the water park. Defence unable to clear their lines and keeping the ball, using the advantage and going through the phases. Touchdown for a try by number five. We think it was Jamie Walsh who got that one. The restart is underway. Brilliantly taken once again by Brough. Halfway between their 10 and their 22. The pack using the ball and going through the phases. And that's a turnover, superbly done by Waterpark. Now it's an opportunity for them, kick through. And the chance for Cormac McMahon to chase them down, but instead it's fullback Zane Dooley Cullinan who comes away with the ball and retains possession just outside their 22. Brough will look to clear their lines. They keep the ball in hand, but Waterpark meeting them on the 22 with some seriously heavy challenges going on already. Ball is pushed out. And a big relieving kick that will come to the halfway line. But Kyle Garvey, the scrum half, is there. He top steps inside one player. Has he got enough support? He's on the ground. And Waterpark get there in numbers and just in time. But just on the 10 metre line now, a chance for Ty Johnson to get things going for Waterpark. Brough's defence is right up in their faces, however, but the scrum half, Johnson, getting through an awful lot of work. Good move inside from Harry O'Brien, and there is, there is an advantage for a high challenge, and Waterpark referee Shane McLaughlin has seen enough. High tackle, and that means it would be an opportunity and a penalty for Waterpark, and an opportunity for them maybe to kick deep, deep into Brough territory. As we said, here at Virgin Media Park, this year's Munster Clubs under 18 boys cup final and what a start for the Limerick side. They are seven points to nil up inside two minutes. But since then, Waterpark just trying to settle into it now and kicking deep for possession. They're just outside Bruff's 22. And an opportunity from this set piece to get something going. And a very, very raucous crowd in here at the moment, enjoying the opening moments of this under-18 cup final. We're hit, entering only the fifth minute. Seven points to nil. Great start for Brough. How can Waterpark respond? This is a Waterpark side that came through an opening round win over Canary 26-5 and then defeated Highfield 22-17. And another penalty, but this time... And it's gone in favour of Brough. They will have a put-in just outside their own 22 in the early stages of this Munster Club's Under-18 Boys Cup final. Shane McLaughlin indicating there that he didn't like that the way that line-out worked out, and instead it will be Brough who will have the put-in. Chance now for the Brough scrum half, Cahill Garvey. Probably look for his fly half, Matthew Daly, who converted that try early on. Ball is straight out, and it's the scrum half. Garvey who kicks, kicks deep, deep into water park territory and they're being forced to turn. What a superb kick from scrum half Cahill Garvey, one of the Munster Interpros on this Brough team and considering the conditions, using the elements superbly there to get his side from their own 22 inside water parks 22 and a fantastic kick to put a bit of pressure now on the Waterford side, as we said, Waterpark beating Killarney and Highfield to get to this stage. They've won in Highfield here in Cork, 22-17. Ben Wallace kicking two conversions and a penalty that day to reach the final. So, line out is good. And Brough and Waterpark quickly up on Brough and into their faces, but the ball comes out to the scrum half. He puts it wide and is going through the faces now. They're going right down along the sideline. And there is an advantage for a knock-on, unfortunately, just when Brough looked like they were going to get in and cause some trouble, a knock-on relieves the pressure on Waterpark, and they will have an opportunity to clear their lines and restart once again. Been an entertaining start to this final. So with the put-in, Ball is in from scrum half tight Johnston and the scrum and they go through the faces. Out it comes and a good breakaway here from Waterpark. Stunning move up the pitch. Can they do something with it? Brought down in the end, but Adam Carroll, oh sorry, Fergal O'Brien, the inside centre. Ball going wide on the left wing. One man outside. And that is Waterpark's winger, Killian Sheridan. He comes back inside and resets. Superb breakaway there from Fergal O'Brien, the inside centre, bringing play up to halfway. 
ball retained beautifully once again from Waterpark, but met by that Bruff team. And a, and a high line it is too, in their face defence. But Waterpark certainly settling in those after disappointing opening. And a penalty. Referee has awarded a penalty for not releasing, and that will be an opportunity now for Bruff to kick deep once again into Waterpark territory. But a superb break there from Fergal O'Brien, the inside centre, take it out of his 22. But Waterpark unable to capitalise, and as a result of this penalty, fly half for Bruff. Matthew Daly sends it back down into the corner for yet another line out. Seven points to nil in the early stages of this Munster Club's Under-18 Boys Cup Final here at Virgin Media Park. Thankfully, the conditions, the weather conditions are, are uh, it's dry. We don't have Storm Kathleen bothering us, but we do have a very, very strong wind backing Brough in this first half, and they've made full use of it to move 7-0 ahead. Now, what can they do from this line? Oh, it's, it's tailed off, and it's got a chance for Waterpark possibly to break again, and that's what they do. They take the ball up to their 22 Off the ball, referee not happy. Quick tap penalty from Waterpark, and they look to burst out again. And it's their scrum half, Ty Johnson. He's been very, very busy in this game all the way through. Good setup now, and an opportunity to restart once again. Good ball to full backs in. And he's tackled brilliantly, but he still rolls away. Superb plays there from the Waterpark fullback, Zane Dooley Cullinan. Scrum half, Johnson back through the phases all the way across. Bruff tackling deep, deep in their opponent's half. And they've turned it over, in from the side, straight in from the side, according to referee Shane Collin, and you can't do that. And that's an opportunity. Once again, another penalty going against Waterpark. And Bruff, what would be the decision? They're having a discussion. Carl Garvey, the scrum half, and Matthew Daly, the fly half. And this fly half is going to have a cut at extending his size lead. And why not? He's got a strong wind behind him. A couple of metres inside the Waterpark 10-metre line. And an opportunity here for Matthew Daly to extend Bruff's lead. They lead seven points in it following that early try. And back by the strong wind, the Kill Ballyone base club have an opportunity now. Ball being held by scrum half, Cahal Garvey, and it's Matthew Daly to fly half. It'd be a left-footed effort, and if this goes over, it'll be a 10-0 lead for the Limerick club. The wind once again picking up, but it's favouring the Bruff fly half. He takes a step forward, clean connection. But that one has tailed to the left and wide. An opportunity lost there for Brough. And we will restart with a Waterpark 22 metre dropout. Big crowd in as well this evening for what is already a very entertaining under 18 Boys Cup final. And this Brough team then, they enjoy, remember, a seven point lead. They've got plenty of Munster Interpros experience. Jamie Walsh, the second row. Andrew Purcell, the open side flanker. Michael Frawley, number eight. Kyle Garvey, scrum half. And Aidan Carroll, the inside centre. Restart brilliantly taken by Brough's Jamie Walsh. And they try to go through the phases. A beautiful offload there from Jack Ahern, the loose head prop. The ball goes wide, but it's a good tackle to take him down. But Bruff are up to Waterparks 22. Again, they go through the phases and they take it into the deep, deep into their opponent's territory. Oh, a beautiful little back flick there from the scrum half. Cahal Garvey. But Waterparks defence is standing up thus far. They go wide once again, and they do have an overlap here. If they can get it wide, and they do. And it's a one-on-one -on -one chance and a chance, but a brilliant tackle by fullback. St. Dooley Kulnan stops Bruff right on the line. The ball is still there, and there's a good move again from Jamie Watts. He's gone deep in. This is the fifth phase of this possession, and he's touched down, and it looks like it's been awarded, and it has. And that is a superb try, originated from deep in their own half, brought the ball up to the 10 metre line, went through the phases, drew Water Park over, and in the end, touchdown by number six, Noah Brennan, a superb effort there from Bruff, and they have enjoyed the perfect start. 7 0 up inside two minutes, a missed penalty from fly half, Matthew Daly, although conditions are difficult, but that try by Noah Brennan has given the Limerick side a very, very uh, capped off, a fantastic start for them. And now an opportunity with this conversion to extend that lead even further in the 12th minute of this opening half. And the fly half's kick daily is superb. Curled in along with the win. What an effort from Wade on the right. And as it stands, 12 minutes into this Munster Boys Club under-18 cup final, it is Bruff who enjoy a 
to nil lead. It's been the perfect start for the Limerick side and they'll be delighted to have made full use of the elements. And that try inside five minutes from Jamie Walsh, as we said, has been added to now by number six, the blindside flanker, Noah Brennan, after 12 minutes, and it is 14-0 to the Limerick side. We restart, but once again, buffer up, Danny Kavna, the hooker, they've lost it, and here's a chance now for Darren McGovern to finally get into the game for Waterpark. He takes the ball up to the 10 meter line. There was an advantage there more entirely, but that's gone now. An opportunity now for Ryan Stevens, a loose head prop. He takes it and drills, drills his side forward. Ball going onto the wide, onto the left wing. And there's a good breakaway, the ball inside, but there is an advantage. And it's going to be for a knock on, but Waterpark are continuing on. Uh, their left winger there, Killian Sheridan, an opportunity, but he was dispossessed. So Waterpark need a response. What can they do? They put the ball through the faces once again. Ryan Stevens bursting through. Brought to the ground. That advantage is over. And as the ball goes wide, another break from Fergal O'Brien. He's been very busy so far. Waterpark will certainly look to their centres. Now an opportunity. There's numbers wide here, but the fly half. Ben Wallace decides to keep the ball in hand. Sixth phase of this possession. Ben Wallace now once again. And he makes the breakaway. Superb step inside. Two steps inside. He's up to the 22. What can Waterpark do? Darago Grodick takes the ball inside that 22. And an opportunity again. It's spilled away. And a chance for the winger for Waterpark to make an effort. He's tackled. And a brilliant move there from Killian Sheridan. Down along the line. But he was tackled and put out over the line. But for the first time in this under 18 boys cup final. Waterpark are inside Bruff's 22. Superb move emanating from the middle of the field, going wide, keeping the ball in hand. Ben Wallace very, very active in that, as was centre Fergal O'Brien. He's been quite active all the way through. And now a chance to put some pressure on this Bruff team. They have a line out to about five metres from their try line and the ball is cleanly won and that's good work from the pack. They take the ball forward and they break out. Superb move there from Danny Kavanagh. He's had a very, very influential start as well. Bruff keeping the ball in hand. And Kyle Garvey, the scrum half, has already been kicking very well. He uses the elements, but does not find touch. Oh, almost a knock-on, but brilliantly controlled by Ty Johnson. He kicks forward, but he's opposite. Oh, there's a knock-on there. And it's a knock-on. So scrum half for Waterpark. Ty Johnson collecting a very, very difficult ball, evading a defender kicking it deep into Bruff territory where his opposing number, number nine, Cahill Garvey, spilled that forward. And as a result of that knock-on, it is now a scrum for Waterpark. In halfway between the 22 and the tri-meter line. What are they actually going to do with this? The put-in will come from scrum half, Ty Johnson, who's been very, very active in this opening half. His distribution, along with Ben Wallace, have kept Waterpark on the front foot in the past couple of moments. But what are they going to do with this set-piece now? Scrum stays solid. It's an opportunity for Johnson to spill away. He does to Wallace. They have a good tackle. Takes down Fergal O'Brien in the centre. But Waterpark retain possession once again. They go through the phases. Harry O'Brien, the outside centre, getting deep just now inside the five metre line. And there's another burst. And there's a try out of nowhere for Waterpark. Superb move. And their first visit to the Bruff. 22 has resulted in a try for Waterpark and considering they're playing into the teeth of what is an incredibly strong wind that is exactly what they wanted brilliant return for them from all that effort that all started with uh, Ty Johnston the scrum half on the right wing getting the ball wide kicking ahead and from the resulting winning a scrum and from that scrum right across the pitch in front of the goal keeping the ball in hand as we said Waterpark did not lose their composure through the hands and we're just trying to identify, I think it's number eight. In fact, it is Waterpark number eight. Hugh Power was the one who crossed the line. And as I said, Hugh Power crossed the line. Out half, Ben Wallace converts that. So we have got a really good game. 14 points to seven in favour of Bruff. And we're just going to have a time off for an injury. And it gives us a chance to catch our breath. I mean, what's been a superb opening quarter here at Virgin Media Park. 17 minutes on the clock. Bruff from County Limerick got off the mark after five minutes with Dara O'Groat. Excuse me, Jamie Watts crossing the line. 
despite the misconversion, Bruff kept on the front foot and then it was Noah Brennan who crossed the line and that try was converted by Matthew Daly to make it 14-0. But now following a superb move, number eight for Waterpark, uh, Hugh Power, who is the son of the head coach, David Power, crossing for a try for Waterpark and that's been converted by Ben Wallace to make it 14-7 after, as we said, 17 minutes. Really, really good game of rugby thus far, and what a game we had to beforehand. The under-16, uh, Munster Club's boys under-16 Cup final just beforehand. What a game that turned out to be. NSRFC, 13-0 down at half-time to Old Christians. Won an absolute thriller, 14-13. Are we going to have something similar today? I certainly hope so. This game is shaping up very, very nicely thus far. So, after two tries in the opening 15 minutes from the Limerick side Bruff Waterford's Waterpark RFC have responded with Hugh Power crossing the line after a period of sustained pressure converted by Ben Wallace to fly half and we now have a 17-4 game the restart begins deep on the 22 into Waterpark's half they keep the ball in hand And once again, their forward is coming through. That's Oren Bulger who's getting through an awful lot of work as well. Ball goes wide and back inside again now. And Waterpark certainly looking to get looking to get their centres into the action, but inching their way out of their 22. They keep the ball and they move it wide. Good tackle, but the ball is kept in hand. Superb move here. Dylan Cody brought down just as he was about to break away. There is an advantage. But Ty Johnson keeps the ball moving. Bruff have certainly been very good in defence. Now the ball wide here. Zane Dooley Cullen Arm. We haven't seen much of him so far. He breaks the tackle and is inside the Bruff half up to the 10 metre line. Brilliant stuff from Waterpark. Ty Johnson gets the ball. Ben Wallace through the hands. Up to the centre of the park. Once again, Bruff are in to snuff that attack out. But Ty Johnson, the scrum half, keeps the ball moving. We now have an advantage for Waterpark. Far and offside. And the referee Shane Collin has seen enough. And that is a penalty. He warned them. And an offside decision certainly allows Waterpark another opportunity. They've chosen a scrum for an offside decision in the centre of the park for tonight's Munster Club's Under-18 Boys Cup Final, where after coming up on 20 minutes here at Virgin Media Park, Bruff from County Limerick had a 14-point lead. That has been halved now following that superb try from Hugh Power from Waterpark and a conversion from Ben Wallace to make it 14-7. A set piece and a chance for scrum half Ty Johnson to get Waterpark on the front foot once again. The wind has started to die down a little bit, which is good news for Waterpark. What will they do from here? Johnson flicks it wide beautifully to Harry O'Brien. The centre takes it into contact. And as they have done since they've settled into this game, Waterpark keeping it, ball in hand, going through the phases. Hugh Power kickstarts another move. Wallace the out half, looks for the gap but doesn't find it. Bruff's defence has been excellent since the concession of that try, but can they sustain it? As this first half progresses, when here come Waterpark, the Waterford side, halfway between halfway line and the 10 metre line, Johnson spins it wide. It's an opportunity for Zane Dooley Cullinan. His name keeps popping up as he comes more and more into the game. Johnson, the scrum half, looks for a gap, and there's another advantage for Waterpark. Number eight, Hugh Power, the try scorer, takes the ball forward. Referee Shane Cull. And he's calling over. Scrum half, Kyle Garvey, he's seen enough now. There's been too many penalties, one minute after the other. And now there is also a yellow card for not moving away from the tackle. Kyle Garvey, the scrum half, will spend 10 minutes in the bin, and Bruff will be down to 14 players. A real turning point here now for Waterpark. After 21 minutes. A yellow card, referee Shane Collin, he had given a number of penalties and had warned Bruff. But on this occasion, his patience wearing things of the scrum half has been yellow carded. And that will mean Bruff now will have to defend with 14 players for the next 10 minutes. And that's a big blow for them. The resulting penalty has been kicked on into the 22. And Waterpark's Kenneth Kensler throws it in. And it's OK. The referee doesn't see a knock on there. Bit untidy from Waterpark. But scrum half tight. Johnson will get things moving once again. Here comes Dean uh, McGovern taking it deep into Bruff territory, the ball is spun wide to Hugh Power, he stays inside, he's not dragged out, the ball is there, Ref referee says it's in touch, 
says the player in question, Hugh Power, had the ball and was pulled into touch. That's the correct decision, and that's a big let off for Brough because Waterpark were gaining a serious head of steam with the extra player. Instead, now it will be a line out just about five metres from their own line, and Brough must retain possession from this one and look to build through the phases. But it's stolen brilliantly by Waterpark, but Brough respond superbly there. Jamie Walsh coming through and gaining possession. Playing temporary scrum half, Matthew Daly gets his side going again. They're outside their 22 and they look to move wide again. Wallace spins it. Went, ball went backwards, the referee's happy with that. But Buffer under a lot of pressure here from a water park side looking to go in for their second try. They burst out of their 22. Ball is spun wide and they'll keep it in hand. What else can they do? Down the player, don't forget. Following scrum half. Cahill Garvey's Sin Binning. Matthew Daly, the fly half, acting as scrum half as well. He's going to try and spin this wide, and Bruff are just going to keep this working. And this time he elects to kick, and that's a big, boomy one and a different one. Two players going for it. Brilliantly taken by scrum half. Ty Johnson instructs his players, saying Dooley Cullinan. He's got broken two tackles. He's found Zane Dooley Cullinan. He's got a left wing inside. Dooley Cullinan cuts inside two defenders. Oh, that's an exceptional. Oh, he's brought down right on the line. Referee is there, and it looks like he was held up. But what a fantastic move from Waterpark. The move of the game. Ty Johnston, the scrum half, evading two tacklers, slipping it into fullback, saying Dooley Cullinan's path. He did have Killian Sheridan's winger on his side, but he dodged inside two defenders. Looked like he was going to cross the line, but superb defence from Brough. And let's give the Kilbalion base club some credit because coming up to half time, had that one uh, counted and had seen. Dooley Cullinan crossed the line. We were, we were looking at a tight game. Instead, it remains 14 7 in Brough's favour. But the move of the match, superb move. But let's give some credit too to Brough's defence. Brilliantly done to hold up the fullback just as he was about to cross the line. And instead of it being a try, it will now be an opportunity for Brough to once again clear their lines. What a game we have here in tonight's Munster Rugby Club Boys Under 18 Cup final. Brough getting off to the perfect start with the aid of the win. Two tries inside the opening quarter of an hour and one conversion. And took and the conversions to make it 14 0. Waterpark took their time to settle, but a superb move and sustained pressure. Saw Hugh Burr across the line, Ben Wallace converting it to make it 14 7. Now, however, Brough's chances of re re energizing their lead unfortunately hasn't happened because Hugh Garvey, their scrum half, has been temporarily sent to the line for an infringement of the yellow card. We restart on the halfway line with scrum half, Ty Johnston for Waterpark, and he's been everywhere. Good tackle. Keeping the ball in hand, Johnston attempts a kick through, and there's an advantage and a knock on. And all the pressure coming from Waterpark, but Brough's defense is holding up superbly thus far in a player down. They are seeing out this very, very difficult period as we head towards half time, and they will get to put in from the scrum on their own 10 meter line on the left wing here and first half of this Munster Rugby Club's boys under 18 cup final which has been exciting since the opening minute two tries from Brough answered by one from Waterpark temporary scrum half Matthew Daly is going to put this one in and the heave is on Brough the scrum is holding well number 8 Michael Frawley will look to bring it away and bring it into the tackle and he crosses the 10 meter line Waterpark looking to turn it over, and I think they might have done that. No, Brough have retained it. Danny Cavan is in there as well, and it's an advantage now to Brough. Michael Frawley once again taking it into, into contact, and the referee not rolling away. He did warn them, Shane McLaughlin. Waterpark didn't listen to that warning, and instead it will now be a penalty to Brough and an opportunity to catch their breath. And the referee saying to the players he's trying to play the advantage as often as he can. But as it stands, the penalty and that kick from Matthew Daly. Oh dear, it wasn't clean. But unfortunately for Waterpark, Killian Sheridan, the left wicker, couldn't contain it. And now it will be a line out inside Waterpark's 22. And a chance for Brough once again with Michael Frawley, number eight. He's going to take this. 
as we await and see what Brough will come up with from this particular set piece. They look like they're not committing too many numbers. So, a line out inside the Waterpark 22. Oh, and this one's a little bit too far, but can Waterpark capitalise? They certainly can. Brilliant play. Went too expensive, a tight head prop taken down. But it's an opportunity now to go wide. To keep the ball in hand. Jack Ahern. And a great defence from Waterpark to, to push them back. Michael Frawley now taking it in. This is the fourth phase of this particular move. What are they going to do with it? Full back for Nan Lahey. He's tackled and this defence is holding steady for Waterpark. The ball is still there for Brough, but they're being pushed further and further back. And the referee not releasing and that is a big, big relieving moment for Waterpark and they'll be glad of that because just for a moment Brough looked like they were going to get in the corner for a th potentially for a third try instead a penalty going against the Limerick side and an opportunity for fly half Ben Wallace uh, for Waterpark to clear his lines now we have a replacement coming on for Waterpark and that is number 18 Andrew Scanlon substitution is the first of the day A Andrew Scanlon is coming on The first change, and while that's happening, Carl Garvey, the scrum half for Brough, is counting down the final minutes of his uh, yellow card. As it stands, Brough still down to 14 players. But the first change of the afternoon, or the evening, sorry, Andrew Scanlon, the replacement for Waterpark, and we're back into the action very, very quickly. He's replaced Luke Murphy, the second row. Waterpark beautifully retaining that set base on the line out and now driving them all forward. They're up to the 10 metre line. The ball is in hand and an opportunity to possibly break from deep once again. Ty Johnson, Ben Wallace and here we are through the hands and they've been brilliant with this thus far. Full back saying Dooley Cullinan. Unfortunately that looked like a double movement. Off his feet and uh, because of that it's a penalty, and now Brough are back to their full complement of 15 players. Scrum half, Carl Garvey back on following his yellow card after 30 minutes of this Munster Club's Under-18 Boys Cup final. Matthew Daly, the fly half, kicks deep into the 22, and it'll be another opportunity now for the Kilbally Owen side to start another set piece and see what they can do. It's 15 against 15 once again, 14-7 on the scoreboard. Brough the leaders. Waterpark enjoying a period of dominance there midway through the first half. But Brough now back into the game once again. And they'll be hoping Carl Garvey and Matthew Day, their, their, two out, their scrum half and out half, can create something from this set piece. Hasn't been tidy all along, but that one was really well executed. Now, on the mall, a chance from Michael Frawley. He breaks free, takes two defenders with him. Inside the Waterpark 22, a chance once again. Keeping the ball in hand and going through the phases. This patient approach work worked well for Brough in the opening half. Will it do it again? Out half. Matthew Daly looking to make a breakaway. Carl Garvey is there and he puts the ball once again into the hands of Michael Farley, the number eight. And what a good game he's had. Onto their fourth phase of this particular possession. Going through the phase. Water park defence though. Right up in their faces. Right on the 22 metre line. And Brough will try once again. Ball spun wide. And they have options out here. They've got their Cormac Mahan and they've got Fanon Leahy wide on the left if they want to use it, but Brough content. A warning there for Waterpark, but they've managed to avoid it. Danny, Daniel Buckley got in on the 22. Brough continuing to push forward. Danny Cavanagh and Jack Ahern combining there to go forward. Jamie Walsh now the second row he takes it into contact Carl Garvey spins it wide it's an opportunity here for Aidan Carroll the inside centre he's brought down again and Water Park's defence you have to say has been superb in this move we're into the 11th phase of this particular move and Brough still in possession but can they break three nowhere to go for Matthew Daly and Water Park pushing Brough from inside their 22 now halfway between the 22 and the 10 superb defence from the Waterford side. Brough. Carl Gary. A little chip over the top, and that's a nasty little kick to contend with, but it's brilliantly done there by Waterpark. But can they clear their lines? They could be in trouble here if they don't clear. 
and Waterpark have retained possession and that kick through from the scrum half Cahill Garvey very difficult one to deal with but Waterpark bring the ball out superbly from their own try line five metres now from that line and the referee has seen something and it is a penalty for a knock on so Waterpark attempts to clear their lines it's Bruff who keep them in line and that's going to be a knock on and probably a scrum and it is for Bruff just outside about five six meters from the water park try line as we hit the 33 minute mark in the first half of this tonight's monster clubs boys under 18 cup final Bruff 14 water park 7 been a really entertaining game thus far and a chance now for the Limerick side coming up to half time to score a third try scrum half Cahill Garvey will have the put in what can Bruff do from this scrum is solid and breaking from it, it's untidy ball unfortunately for Bruff, Waterpark are there in numbers and a knock on and Waterpark have turned it over superb defence again we've said that quite a number of times in this opening half from the Waterford Club and they are looking now to burst out of defence, Bruff were in control from that set piece but an un the delivery wasn't clean coming from the base of the scrum and as a result Waterpark have it now they did have the advantage, that's over. And Ty Johnson's relieving kick takes play outside the 22 for another line out. Waterpark, superb defending all the way through, and their pack have been really, really tight. The front row, Ryan Stevens, Canis Kinsler, and Oren Bulger certainly getting through uh, a lot of tackles, as have their second rows, Luke Murphy and Darrow Grodig, and they've had to because Bruff have been on the front foot since going back to their full complement of 15 players. Another line out as the wind picks up once again, but it's good, tidy delivery of ball. It's a maul, and Bruff will now like to push, and they do. Inside to the 22, and they retain the possession. Will they spin this way? They do. Oh, and an opportunity there. Last Matthew Daly's pass to Adam Keller wasn't clean. It's a knock on, and another relief for Waterpark. That got not knock on now allows them a set piece of their own and a scrum midway between the 22 and the 10 meter line. Heading towards half time here in the first half, we're just going to have we're going to have it less than three minutes to the break. Bruff leading 14 points to seven. Very very delicately poised this game. Bruff have enjoyed the better territory with the wind at their backs, got those two early tries, but Waterpark have come back into it with that try of their own from Hugh Power, and they've had to defend now for much of the second quarter, and they've done that diligently and brilliantly. Ty Johnson, the scrum half, gives it out wide to Ben Wallace, going through the faces, beautiful ball wide to St. Julie Cullinan, he gets it to the winger, Killian Sheridan, a kick forward from Sheridan. That's fielded superbly by Fanon Leahy, and he finds his touch but he wasn't inside his 22 and he did it and as a result we will go back deep inside Bruff's territory on the 22 meter line just an error of judgment there from the fullback for Niall he was just outside his 22 and he kicked it because he was outside that means we will have a line out back from where the kick took place and now a chance for Waterpark as we itch towards half time a set piece and a line out with Canis Kinsler the hooker to put in and they'll be looking for clean ball here at the Waterford side. Up it goes, brilliantly taken. And we have a mall and a driving mall now into the 22. Waterpark, superb control. Bruff need to get this under control. Waterpark continue to drive. And they break away now, it's opportunity. Brilliantly done there by Kinnis Kinsella. Scrum half Ty Johnson, he spins it wide. Inside centre there, Kirk Fergal O'Brien takes it deep. He's up, up to the try line. Ty Johnson will have it again. The scrum half, he goes wide. There's an advantage here for offside. Waterpark are going to continue to play. They do have the advantage. They are still short of the try line. Inches now away from Tony touching down. And the try is given. Superb stuff from Waterpark. Right from that mistake by fullback Finan Lee that led to the line out. The ball going through the faces, a superb driving ball deep, deep into the 22. And Waterpark are back within two points of their opponents following that superb try. 
number 13 by the replacement Andrew Scanlon he got the final touchdown uh, brilliant stuff there from Waterpark to keep control of that and coming up to half time that's exactly what they needed the replacement Andrew Scanlon touching down right on the try line after a superb set piece from a line out ball going wide and now can Ben Wallace he can convert and draw us level and that brings an end to the opening half of tonight's Munster Rugby Club's boys under 18 cup final as you can see from the scoreboard it is 14 points apiece what a game we've had it started with a buff try from Jamie Walsh which was converted by Matthew Daly after 12 minutes number six Noah Brennan the blades out back across the line Daly did the job once again from the conversion brilliantly with his left foot to make it 14 nil but then a comeback from Waterpark, playing into the teeth of a strengthening wind. Hugh Power powered over the line. That try was converted by Ben Wallace. The fly half to make it 14-7. Bruff lost their scrum half, uh, Hugh Gar or Cahill Garvey, for the yellow card. But in that time period, they were unable to add to their total. And just before halftime, replacement Andrew Scanlon finished off a fantastic move that began with a line out. He crossed the line to make it 14-12 and the final act of what's been a huge entertaining first half. Ben Wallace to fly half converting. It's 14 points apiece here between Brough and Waterpark in tonight's Munster Rugby Club. Boys under 18 Cup Final 14-14. We'll be back for the second half in just a few moments.
and we are back with the second half of tonight's Munster Bo Club's Boys Under 18 Cup Final. 14 points apiece between Waterpark and Brough. And the second half is immediately back underway in a couple of mistakes. And we will have a knock on and inside the 10 metre line of Brough. They have a replacement on for the second half. Number 20, Keelan Feely has come on. Um, and he's out here on the right wing. We assume he has replaced Adam Keller, but we'll confirm that in a moment. But we will restart with a buff put in from a scrum halfway between their 10 metre line and their 22. What a game we've had so far. Two tries in the opening 15 minutes of the Limerick side get buff a 14 point and no score lead. But Water Park roared back into contention with two tries of their own to level matters right on the stroke of half time. All to play for in the second half. Now, scrum half, Ty Johnston. Makes a break from the base of the scrum and looks to get something going here. Gets it out wide to his fly half Ben Wallace. And there is a, a high tackle. The referee wasn't happy with that at all. And it will be a penalty for Waterpark. The two sets of coaching teams as well have brought their teams to this final today. Waterpark, David Power, Fergal O'Brien, Paul McGovern, Eddie Wall, Barry Cantwell, Rosaline Friend and Jeff Deegan. And for Bruff. Um, they've got Seamus Sheehan, Michael Carroll, Tommy Carroll, one of the most capped players at our level at that club, Pat Kavanagh, Mark Enright and Dave Keane. So, a line out for Waterpark inside the 22 of their opposing team. Early stages of the second half, 14 points apiece and all to play for in this cup final. It's a short one, it doesn't go to plan and there's a knock on. And it will be an advantage to Brough, but they're going to, they've are going they elected to play on. And they'll keep the ball now in hand and try and force their way out of their own 22. Waterpark's defence, which has been excellent all the way through this evening in their opposing faces. Relieving kick there from Brough out half Matthew Daly. And you get a sense of the wind just with how high that ball went and how it hung in the air before coming down. And uh, they've managed to get it out as far as the 22, and it's an opportunity once again. What will Waterpark do from this particular set piece? The last one didn't go to plan. This one has just about as caught at the base of it. Over there by Dean McGovern, who takes the ball in. Now the ball is spun wide. An opportunity here for out half. Ben Wallace to get something going. He's tackled and put to the ground. Waterpark are there in numbers. Ty Johnson goes wide. But unfortunately, the pass wasn't to hand and a knock on and another bit of relief for Brough because they've been under the cosh since the start of this second period. They're still inside their 22, but this kick now from their out half, Matthew Daly will give them some relief. Oh no, in fact, it's going to be a scrum. Apologies. And the uh, Limerick side will be eager, as I said, they will be eager to clear their lines because they've been under the, under the cosh water park, exerting an awful lot of pressure since we restarted here at Virgin Media Park. Scrum half, Carl Garvey with the put in. And from the base of the scrum, as he has done all even, Michael Frawley taking the ball into contact. Garvey is there once again. And Waterpark, because they don't really have an option here, the wind is so strong. If they're going to try and kick a relieving kick, it's going to hang in the air. So they're just going to have to keep the ball in hand for as long as they can. No scrum half. And there you see my point exactly. And now it's a penalty against them for offside. Waterpark, Brough there with no option really under so much pressure, a relieving kick attempt from Cahill Garvey going up in the air but it resulting in a knock on and now it's a chance for Waterpark with this penalty inside the 10 metre line and it's going to be a tap and go penalty let's see what they can do from this, the Waterford side having been 14-0 down they've drawn level to make it 14 points apiece they move the ball and it's another penalty and it's an advantage to Waterpark in a deep run. Not rolling away, it's a penalty advantage. So they, had, they know they have the penalty, they can try something here. The ball goes right to uh, full backs in. Dooley Cullinan just for a second looked like he was about to burst through. But Waterpark will come back for a penalty halfway between the 10 metre line and the or 22 and the Troy metre line for not rolling away. And will they tap and go once again? I think they will. Ryan Stevens, the loose head prop, is over the ball. He taps, and off we go. But the referee is not happy because the ball has to move from a tap and go penalty. It didn't on this occasion, and that is an, a mistake and another let off for a buff team that's been under pressure. It's going to be a relieving kick for scru or for out half Matthew Daly. He kicks it high, the wind carries it, and that's a good relieving kick. It goes out over the stand even, 
but that's outside the 22. Now, another replacement for Waterpark coming onto the pitch. Harry Keane is the latest player to come on. We spoke earlier about Waterpark's run to the final. Bruff RFC defeated Cove Pirates 22-12 in the opening round before an absolutely epic semi-final with Ennis ended 24-22 in Bruff's favour and it required a Matthew Daly conversion to win it for the side and the final kick of the game. And what a game that, that was here at Virgin Media Park. And as we said, the uh, number 17, Harry Keane, has just come on for the Waterpark side. He is replacing, uh, we're just going to confirm who he's replacing, number three, uh, Oren Bulger, the tight hit prop. An interesting story about Oren Bulger. He had never played rugby up until six months ago. And what a player and what a development, what a quick development it's been for him. Superb player, done really well in this particular game. But he has now been replaced by number 17, Harry Keane. Another put in for Bruff. Just outside their 22. 14 points apiece in tonight's Munster Clubs Boys Under 18 Cup Final. And the next score you feel will be very, very crucial in this particular one. Carl Garvey just come out from the base of the scrum, goes to his out half, crash ball up the middle, but met once again by Waterpark's solid defence. They've given little or nothing away since that 15 minute after conceding two tries in quick succession. They have been superb. Now a chance and a brilliant move there from Bruff Danny Cabinet to try and get a move going, but it's turned over. Oh no, they've managed to retain it, but Waterpark's tackling and defence right in the faces of their opponents. Carl Garvey looks to get something going once again. Will they go wide? I think they will. Chance for Jack O'Hearn now. He's taken to ground. And certainly if it's a battle of territory, it's been won by Waterpark in the early stages of this second half because they have kept Bruff inside their own half up to this point. Referee's not happy. And that's going to be a penalty to Waterpark for holding on on the ground, not releasing, and now it's an opportunity. What will Waterpark do? They've had a couple of tap-and-go penalties at the start of this second half. We're going to have a temporary time off for what looks like an injury to one of the Waterpark players. The ref is anxious to keep things moving. And it looks like we're going to have a couple of subs. In fact, we're going to have a couple of warming up on the Waterpark side. All of their subs are warming up, so we may ha well have a couple of replacements in the in the next few moments. If you're just joining us, what a monster clubs under 18 boys cup final we've had here at Virgin Media Park so far. Tries in the opening 15 minutes from Jamie Walsh and Noah Brennan, both converted by Matthew Daly, gave Bruff a 14 point to no score lead. That was answered after 70 minutes by Hugh Power who crossed the line, Ben Wallace converted, and then uh, right on half time, a superb move from a line out through the phases. Number 18, Andrew Scanlon, crossing the line and the conversion by Matthew, uh, sorry, by uh, Ben Wallace once again to make it 14 points apiece. In the early stages of this second half, uh, very, very little, if nothing in it, but Waterpark dominating territory and possession with a very strong wind at their backs. A mall developing from that line out now inside the Bruff 22. What will they do with it? And it's a rob, superb rob from the Bruff. It's Bruff's defence now, which has really come good in these the first few minutes minutes of the second half and it's had to because they're under intense pressure from Waterpark. Three times, four times now Waterpark have been into the 22 but they've not done anything with it. How significant will that be come the end of this cup final? Ball is worked back and fly half for Bruff. Matthew Daly, as you can see once again the wind carrying his attempted clearance. Not very far, it'll be a line out halfway between the try line and the 22 on that far side and an opportunity from yet another water park set piece. Referee is asking the players to hurry on with these set pieces and to keep the game moving. So here we go with another line out for water park. The ball is high, it's tapped back beautifully but the ref wasn't happy and I don't think that was actually in straight and as a result it's going to be a penalty too Bruff. They're asking for a scrum or a line-out, and Bruff have ch taken the option of a scrum. And what they've been doing, the Limerick side, in the second half is that instead of an electing to kick, unless they're under absolute pressure, they are going through the phases, keeping the ball in hand, and now using the scrum to try and inch their way out of their 22 as this second half develops. 14 points apiece. 14 nil up after a quarter of an hour. Bruff playing some superb rugby. Looked in control, but then Waterpark turned things around, and it's now 14 points each. As they look to break out of defence, up to their 22. 
brilliant move there from Brough center Aidan Carroll huge pressure coming from Waterpark but it's an advantage and a knock on unfortunately coming through the middle this intense defense from Brough you have to think it's going to affect the players and the tiredness coming to the end of what's already been an energy sapping game the crowd are getting behind them now looking to raise their spirits as we go to yet another scrum and an opportunity for Brough on their own 22 to do something with this Cahill Garvey who was yellow carded in that first half for 10 minutes but Brough have managed to come through that and it's 14 points apiece and this cup final is delicately poised number 8 from the base of the scrum Michael Frawley takes it into contact walks the ball wide to Aidan Carley inside centre Garvey is there again and here is Jack Ahern who's gone through or not Jack Ahern sorry Danny Cabin who's got through a huge amount of work Keeping the ball in hand, they move it wide. Andrew Purcell brought to ground. Garvey there again, the outer scrum half. Waterpark are desperate now here to keep rough in their own half and not give anything away. The ball comes back to fly half. Matthew Daly with his left foot, but again the wind carrying it. Superb take from some scrum half. Ty Johnston, he bursts through. And here come Waterpark. What can they do? They now have possession and an opportunity to recycle. Harry O'Brien acting as temporary scrum half. His pass goes to hand. But Waterpark are held up. Once again, Ty Johnson, the scrum half. Into his number eight, Hugh Power. Scored one of those tries in the opening half. Stands over the ball. Johnson spreads it wide. What will they do from here? It's replacement. Harry Keane getting into the action early since coming on at the start of the second period. Oh, and an accidental one there, but it's worked well. The referee's happy with it. Ben Wallace lucky moment for him they're keeping the ball at hand the ball has gone wide there's now an advantage as well against and we're coming back for a penalty and the referee wasn't happy there with Bruff's Daniel Buckley for not back and it's, we have a penalty and that penalty is going to result in an attempt by fly half Ben Wallace one of the many water park players who's been involved with the Munster under 18 pros this year. Uh, Zane Dooley Cullinan is another one of those players. He's also been involved with them. And uh, a rich tradition in the Bruff Club, or sorry, in the water park team, down through the years of Munster involvement. And this year is no different. As we've seen in the first half when Bruff were taking their attempted penalties, the scrum half, uh, on this occasion, Ty Johnson is going to have to lie in the ground and hold the ball for his fly half, Ben Wallace. So, a penalty midway between the 10 metre line and the 22, and an opportunity here for Waterpark to take the their first lead of this Munster Club's Boys Under 18 Cup final. It's a long way out, but the wind is at his back, and the fly half. Ben Wallace, good connection, looks good, and it's it is good, straight through between the posts. And there you have it after 48 minutes of this really, really entertaining Boys Club Under 18 Club final. Ben Wallace penalty has edged Waterpark in front 17-14 for the first time in the game the Waterford Club have their lead and they lead 17-14 what will Bruff's response be kick deep deep into the Waterpark half taken brilliantly by the number 7 Bobby Doherty the open side flanker takes the ball into contact and Ty Johnson the scrum half will be there keeping the ball in hand oh it's interception superb stuff from Brook oh what a try just when it seemed like Waterpark were taking control having got their lead for the first time in the game the chance to break out from the resulting dropout intercepted absolutely superbly by Waterpark and they have crossed the line we're just going to confirm who got that one brilliant bit of individual skill there to take the ball as it was flighted a pass control it and race deep into the water park half and cross the line to restore Bruff's lead after f Aiden, and it's actually number 12 Aidan Carroll who intercepted it brilliant bit of work from him an intercept try that has just been converted by Matthew Daly what a game this is. Aidan Carroll judging his moment to absolute perfection, taking the interception, 
bursting clear and has now put Brough back in front less than 60 seconds after falling behind for the first time Brough are back in front now on a scoreline of 21 to 17 Ref referee Seamus Collins just reminding both captains that there are rolling subs in this finally wants to keep the ball moving as much as he possibly can what a game we've had 14 all at half time a penalty from Ben Wallace gave Waterpark their first lead and then from the resulting restart an intercept try by centre Aidan Carroll for Bluff crossing the line Matthew Daly converting and now a penalty and the referee Bluff's defence under immediate pressure but once again but it looks like a high challenge and the referee wasn't happy with and he's now number 14 for Waterpark that's Dylan Cody is going to be spoken to along with Ty Johnson the captain and having a word there with, his, with Ty Johnson just telling him that it was a high tackle not a yellow card but doesn't want to see any more of that good refereeing so a chance now for Bruff to clear their lines once again Matthew Daly will have an opportunity from just inside his 22 he brings us up not far from halfway and a chance for Bruff what a start to the second half it was all water park retaining possession using the elements in the wind to pin their opponents deep deep in their own territory they were unable to cross the line however but a penalty from Ben Wallace gave them a 17-14 lead but now an intercept try from inside centre Aidan Carroll and conversion from Matthew Daly has given Bruff back the lead but from the resulting line out here they've lost possession and it is Waterpark who will look to start again Ryan Stevens a loose head prop takes the ball into contact scrum half tight Johnson spreads it wide little reverse pass brings Waterpark just inside the halfway line and a chance now for number 13 Harry O'Brien to do something but he is taken down and Waterpark will look to get it moving again spreading the play wide now as the second half develops Harry Keane gets up to the 10 metre line but Waterpark just about retain possession and they go through the phases opportunity beautiful slip pass there from number 7 Bobby Doherty and a chance now for Waterpark to break through once again they go through their, their two half backs Ty Johnson Ben Wallace from left to right they're going across the pitch but are they making any serious penetration oh that's brilliantly held at the second attempt by Harry O'Brien Waterpark now going wide on the far side of the pitch and an opportunity to stretch this Bruff defence which has been given a lifeline thanks to that intercept try and restore their lead of 21 points to 17 as we hit the 53 minute mark in this Munster Club's under 18 boys cup final at Virgin Media Park in front of a very very entertained crown thus far game has ebbed and flowed since the opening quarter Waterpark now looking at burst clear and they do that they're up to the 22 metre line ball is spread wide Bruff's defence holding firm for now but they've been pushed left and right and there's a player down on the far side chance now for the ball to go wide and this is Waterpark's chance what is he going to do brilliant tackle to take down Waterpark still in Cody he looked like he was heading for the corner but a brilliant tackle another crash ball and this has been a sensational move from Waterpark they've kept the ball but Bruff's defence is just about holding firm right up to the try line now Waterpark with ball in hand Bruff and they're on the try line but they're repelling them he's still short here they have opportunity if they want to go wide and it looks like there's no playing advantage as well for offside Ty Johnston is in there the scrum half he's got players outside him he spins it wide oh it's brilliantly taken it looked like Zane Dooley Collan was going to get it instead it was number 8 Hugh Power I think it was Hugh Power touchdown in the corner after 54 minutes and after that seriously period of sustained pressure it is the least Waterpark deserve it was in fact number 8 for Waterpark Hugh Power crossing for the second time and that puts them back in front 22 points to 21 And we're about to, st uh, we're just waiting for the uh, conversion, but the referee is not happy with the water <laughs> that's been thrown onto the players and telling the uh, the water carrier, you know, in certain terms, not to do that again. But 
second half has been just as entertaining as the first 14 all at the break Ben Wallace's penalty gave Waterpark their first lead and then from the resulting restart Aidan Carroll the inside centre for Bruff brilliantly intercepting and crossing over Matthew Daly giving the conversion to make it 21-17 but now following a period of sustained Waterpark pressure as they have done throughout the start of the second half Hugh Power has crossed over on the line and has restored Water Park's lead 22 21 after 54 minutes. Now, this is a very, very difficult kick at the best of times for the Water Park fly half Ben Wallace. But considering the wind and considering his scrum half is having to hold it, let's see what he can do. Good connection, but that's trailing off to the left. No fall to the fly half on that one. Conditions are so windy, even with the wind behind him. It was a very, very difficult kick from right on the left touchline. But what it means is after 55 minutes of this Munster Club's under 18 boys cup final, it is Water Park 22, Brough 21. And it is all to play for as we head to the business end of what has been an enthralling encounter thus far. Now, the last time we had a Brough restart, they managed to force an interception and a try. What will happen this time? You can be sure Waterpark will look to retain. And the ball is held up in the air, but it's gathered brilliantly um, by Andrew Purcell. And it is Brough who retain it, and they now have an advantage as well. Garvey, the scrum half, looks to a sniping run from the base of that ball. It doesn't matter from that rock. It's going to be a penalty. Referee had indicated to them that it was a penalty. And Brough now have a decision to make midway between the 22 and the 10. Uh, just too windy for fly half Matthew Daly to even attempt a kick. He instead finds touch on the 22 and a chance for the Limerick side from the base and kill Ballyon to see what they can do with this particular set piece. Down a point, 22 21. Waterpark, the dominant side of the second half with the aid of a strengthening wind. You get an idea of the wind there from the match officials. Who the Mats officials uh, flag but Brough now with an opportunity to do something here Michael Frawley with the throw in and that's clean ball well taken and oh, it's a good move as well from inside Aidan Carroll but what a pack clear their lines and a full back Zane Dooley Cullinan has done, made a fantastic break right there but it doesn't matter we're coming back for a penalty anyway for a knock on I think and that is correct brilliant break there from Aidan Carroll from that particular line out he was looking to get Michael Frawley in on the action but knocked on at the vital moment and from the resulting breakaway there was already a penalty to Waterpark and they will restart with a scrum inside their own 22 and attempt to clear their lines remember big wind blowing from the north to the south terrace has been here and present throughout the game Waterpark have that wind at their back and they also have a one point advantage heading into the closing stages of tonight's Munster Club's Under-18 Boys Cup final here at Virgin Media Park. What a fantastic day of rugby it's been. An absolute epic just before this for NS coming from 13-0 down to win the Under-16 Cup final. And they used the elements superbly in the second half when they had them and Waterpark are doing the same. But Brough, having been three points down, an intercept Troy retook the lead. But Hugh Power going over in the corner in the 54th minute has given Waterpark the lead once again in a seesaw battle. Scrum half tight, Johnson with the put in. Scrum is just about holding. Johnson needs to use it and does. And a brilliant breakaway there once again from the Waterpark backs. They bring play up to the 22. Johnson may elect to kick this one or they'll keep it. Being instructed to use it, Ty Johnson. Let's see what he does with it. With the aid of the wind, that ball is up and it's high. And it's brilliantly taken by replacement Keen Feely. Keelan Feely, Feely takes it in past three different defenders. Garvey with the spin pass. He gets it out to Danny Cavanagh. Danny Cavanagh now taken to ground. Once again, the ball goes wide. Bruff not afraid to stretch the play when they get the opportunity. Waterpark screaming for numbers on that far side. They certainly need him. There is an overlap. Great tackle. I think that was fullback Zane Dooley Cullinan with a tackle. I'm not sure, but a brilliant tackle. But it is Bruff who continue to pressure and continue to probe this water park defence. They've been on the back foot for much of the second half, apart from that intercept try. Scrum half, Kyle Garvey from the base of that ruck brings the ball out. Oh, and the ball wasn't released, and it's a penalty. Not releasing. Referee was very clear in that. It's a penalty to the Limerick side for not releasing in the tackle, even though Kyle Garvey looked to burst away clear there. 
referee was very clear about that. And just outside the 22, uh, Brough are electing to take, and uh, Matthew Daly, in fairness, the fly half will attempt a penalty and a chance to restore Brough's lead. Now, the only thing is, even at this stage, even though he's right in pretty much in front of the post, and you would think it's a straightforward kick if you're looking on this live feed on the Munster Rugby YouTube site, the wind is, abs is actually strengthening once again. You can see it from the, um, the effect it has on the player shorts and from the sideline and the line, the match officials' flags. So kicking into the teeth of a very, very strong wind, Matthew Daly will attempt this penalty. Left-footed, good connection, but the wind, as you can see, once again, carries it just about the five-meter line, and there's an advantage for tackling the player. Tackling the player in the air, you cannot do that. And all of that pressure and all of that excitement from Bruff's point of view has come to nothing. But they do have, they have at least pushed Waterpark back into their own half. And that long relieving kick from Ben Wallace brings play back outside the 22, halfway between the 10 meter line and the 22. In tonight's Munster Club's under 18 boys cup final, what a game we've had. Waterpark lead 22 21. It was 14 all at half time. Another set of replacements coming on just with this break in play. Number 23. Ben O'Hanlon has come on for Waterpark for the closing stages of this game. Now, from the resulting line-out. Waterpark retained possession. They're going to have to use it now, looking to inch their way out of their own half. Ty Johnson, who's been really uh, energetic and very, very accurate with his passes the scrum half tonight, sets another move in motion. He's at the base of this rock. He looks like he's going to kick this one. Or will he go? He does. He elects to kick. Wind carries it. That's a tough and a high one. Garvey, the scrum half is there. Was behind him. Referee's happy with that. Kyle Garvey retains it and brings play up to the 10-meter line. And now a chance for Buff to see what they can do. The scrum half is on the ground, so they're going to have to move the ball without him temporarily. They take the ball into contact and cross their 10-meter line. Kyle Garvey now once again will look for his fly half. Matthew Daly, he releases again. Aiden Carroll is on the shoulder there, ready to make another burst. Here's the out half. Brings the ball wide to number 20 replacement, Keelan Feely. Garvey again. There's an offside advantage anyway, but Jack Ahern, who's had a fantastic game for Bruff, he gets the ball out. Number eight, Michael Frawley was in touch, but we're going to go back anyway for a penalty for offside. The referee was very clear on that. Now the crowd is coming to life here at Virgin Media Park. We are set up for a grandstand finale. The Waterpark supporters not happy with that decision, but the referee had clearly indicated offside. As we go back to the plate, Jamie Watts, what a amount of work he's after getting through. Brings the ball inside the Waterpark 10 meter line. Carl Garvey spreads it wide to his out half. There goes Jack Ahern again, the loose head prop. My man on a match so far. What an amount of work he's gotten through this evening. Bruff moving the ball right, and there's a breakaway here. Three tackles broken, four tackles here, up to the 22. And they are now inside the 22. What can Buff do with that? That was a superb breakaway from Daniel Buckley, the outside centre. Waterpark managed. And now it's a penalty for a knock-on at the crucial moment. Really disappointing for Buff. That superb move that went wide, wide on the left wing. Daniel Buckley, the outside centre, evaded three challenges. Looked like he was about to burst through. But just when they got to the 22, Buff caught out by a knock-on and a big, big sigh of relief for Waterpark over an opportunity to catch their breath because we have an injury on the far side of the pitch. As it stands, coming up to 64 minutes of tonight's Munster Club's Boys Under-18 Cup Final, it is Waterpark who hold a one-point lead, 22-21. And we have another replacement coming on, Tommaso Reardon coming on for Bruff now as we enter the closing stages of what's been an absolutely pulsating contest. And what a day of rugby it has been here at Virgin Media Park. And the clubs that have taken part and that have contested all of today's finals deserve huge credit. Nothing but excitement following on from the fantastic Schools Cup finals we had here and the School Girls Clubs finals in between as well. Been a feast of rugby at Virgin Media Park over the last number of weeks. Referee not happy with the space for that particular scrum. And putting a bit of pressure on Waterpark scrum half to Ty Johnson to put the ball in and get this game moving once again. As we hit 65 minute mark, Waterpark 22, Brough 21, all to play for in the closing stages of what's been a pulsating contest. The scrum holding firm.
Johnston being asked to use it. Looks like he might kick. And he does. Oh, it's blocked down. The scrum half's effort is blocked down. The ball is loose just outside the 22. And both look like they might have retained. They have turned it over. Now, have they got numbers there? Michael Farley bursting through. And there's an advantage for offside. What a park with the tackle. It doesn't matter. We're coming back for offside. Referee has been very, very down the line on his offside cause throughout the game <laughs> even though some of the supporters aren't too happy it doesn't matter as Matthew Daly kicks for touch <laughs> halfway inside the water park 22 meter line it's Bruff who will have a line out in that corner and an opportunity referee asking the players to hurry along wants to keep the game moving as he has done throughout the night a point behind what can Bruff do with this line out it would be number eight Michael Frawley with the put in uh, we don't have a ball at the moment because the last one was kicked out over the stands we're just waiting for that ball to come in but as we said earlier 14 all at half time a cracking game water park despite all their possession of Ben Wallace penalty was all they had to show for that third quarter the lead 17-14 a breakaway try from Aidan Carlin made it 21-17 but since then Hugh Power crossed the line to restore Waterpark's slender one point lead. It's a short line out, almost caught out. Waterpark, but unfortunately for them, or fortunately for Waterpark, a knock on. Referee now having a word with his assistant about that one. But that short line out routine didn't work. Waterpark were ready for it, and Bruff were unable to do anything with it. And that knock-on and subsequent knock-on means we will have a scrum and a chance for Waterpark to clear their lines with that slender one-point advantage as we head into the closing stages of tonight's Under-18 Boys Club final here at Virgin Media Park. 22 for Waterpark, 21 for Bruff. Ty Johnson with the put in. Will he look for a quick relieving kick or will he go to his fly half, Ben Wallace? The ball is kept in hand as the water park look to burst out they're out 10 meters Johnson once again turns back inside almost lost it retained possession brilliantly and hands it off to replacement uh, Harry Keane up to the 22 that's really good work from water park who are under a lot of pressure there they keep the ball in hand and spread it wide on the right wing and an opportunity now for a breakaway and they've done just that they're up now to the 10 meter line and they've crossed it they did have advantage but that is now over Oh, there was an opportunity to burst through the middle there. But instead, Bruff just managed to hold on the tackle. On the halfway line, Johnston spins it wide. He's out half, Ben Wallace keeps the move going. It's an opportunity here. There is an overlap. If Waterpark needed number 13, Harry O'Brien is taken down. Waterpark looking to turn it over, but instead it's Ty Johnson who keeps the ball moving. Inside the 10 meter, Bruff's 10 meter line, Waterpark from their own try line. As it's been a superb move and an opportunity to go wide. The ball comes back inside as well to fullback Zane Dooley Cullinan. Once again, Waterpark very, very methodically keeping the ball in hand, going through the phases, moving from one side of the pitch to the other. Bruff's defense is holding out so far. Have we got a turnover? <laughs> Referee says no. Instead, Waterpark bursts through. And unfortunately for them, it's a penalty. And we have an injury on the far right hand side. But that penalty came at an absolutely crucial moment for Bruff. Superb move from Waterpark from their own try line all the way through. But a penalty against them. Alex Bielik is the latest replacement to come on for Waterpark. As we hit the 70 minute mark. Waterpark 22, Bruff 21. Coming through the middle is the penalty against Waterpark for that last indiscretion. So we have three minutes left of additional time according to the referee and with that here come the Limerick Club Bruff. They are inside their own 10 meter line. They're over it now. They're a point down and they've got to retain the ball and they've got to get down the other end of the pitch and try and force a winning score. But, and they are going to have a penalty. Number eight hands on the ground there from Hugh Power. 
And Waterpark time is against them now, remember. Three minutes of time left, additional time, according to the referee. They're going to, they've elected to go for a scrum, which is an interesting choice. They're still inside their own half. Another late replacement, Ben Sheehan, is on for Bruff. He's going to join the pack in the second row. But it's all about ball retention now for Bruff. Losing 22-21. They have no choice but to go from the base of this scrum. Keep the ball in hand and get it down the other end of the pitch. Force the penalty because they're a point down as it stands. Waterpark are going to win this. Garvey from the base of the scrum. They go the opposite side. And the ball is flung wide to the out half. Matthew Daly, has he got? He comes back inside. Waterpark's defence remaining firm. It's still inside Bruff's half. Scrum half, Carl Garvey trying to keep the tempo up. Moving through the phases. Waterpark release. For all this effort, that's a great burst from Michael Frawley, the number eight. Brings play up to halfway. Another crash ball right up the middle. And Waterparks defence still holding firm, but Bruff, time is against them. They've got a need, they need a break. Is it going to be number 12, Aidan Carroll? He almost made a break with Garvey, the scrum half, pushing the ball wide. Fullback Finan Lahi, and he brings play up to the Waterpark 10 metre line. Remember, just three additional minutes of injury time have been added by the referee. Waterpark lead by a point in this absolutely engrossing under-18 club cup point. Inching their way towards the 10 metre line. The ball goes all the way to the left wing and comes back inside. Bruff remaining patient, keeping the ball in hand and they hit the 10 metre line. Garvey at the base of the... Rook once again, what a game he's had at scrum half of them as well for the Limerick side. Waterpark's defence in their face of their opponents. And they have yet to breach that excellent defensive line. The ball, the keeper wide. And there's a break on here for Buff. They're looking for support. Superb move there from Jamie Walsh. They're up to the 22 metre line. Kyle Garvey goes wide to his out half. The ball to number one, Jack Ahern. Garvey once again goes wide. He finds his out half daily. Have they got the overlap on the far side? It looks like they do, but momentarily, but Water Park's defence. And the referee said, that's it. The ball comes out. It's been kicked out of play. And as you see, fantastic scenes. Water Park's fans and supporters and subs rush onto the pitch. It is all over. A fantastic game, a fantastic effort from Bruff, but it is Waterpark from County Waterford who win the 2024 Munster Clubs Under-18 Boys Cup Final on a scoreline of 22-21. Right to the death, Bruff were looking for that match-winning try, but the ball was turned over and kicked out of play. Three minutes of injury time are up, and we have an end to what has been an absolutely engrossing and pulsating game. Final score here from Virgin Media Park at tonight's Munster Clubs Boys Under-18 Cup Final. Waterpark 22, Bruff 21. I'm Jeremy McCarthy. Huge thanks to the production team here as well. We've enjoyed bringing it to you. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we brought bringing it to you. What a game of rugby. Commiserations to Bruff, but congratulations to Waterpark. Fantastic result. Final score 22-21. Thank you and good evening. <laughs>